Hi there, this is David, and welcome to my latest Let's Play. Let's play The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, the third. This has been greatly anticipated for me, and it's been quite some time since we played second chapter. And, uh, haven't gotten around to playing first chapter yet, at least on YouTube. I played the first one on the PSP when it first came out. Uh, haven't played the Steam version, so, yeah. Anyway, here we are. Well, Disaster Unleashed? What could that possibly be about? And what's that cube? Huh. Uh, I don't know. Looks kind of cool, though. I like it. I like the music, too. It's really neat. It's really nice. Apparently, this is like one of the hardest Legend of Heroes games, and it doesn't exactly use like the, re the regular Legend of Heroes formula as far as town and dungeon and side quests and guild quests and things like that. Um, it mostly plays as like a dungeon crawler, so it should be an interesting, it should be a nice little change of format at least, so I'm very much looking forward to it, so come and join me! So, yeah, I always do what I do on easy! Uh, sure, we'll load it up, why not? I don't think it's going to get me any benefits, but, you know, I did play the game and I did beat it, so it should hopefully give me something. Oh. Okay, so it's been just about a half a year after the end of, um, second chapter, and here we are on the Lusitania. Huh. Now, from what I gather, this is the first time the Lusitania, uh, has been introduced into the series. We saw it later on in, uh, Trails of Cold Steel 1 and 2, but apparently this is the first time that it actually happened in the Trails uh, universe. We would have known that if we got this game when it first came out, but of course we didn't. And yeah, it's over Eastern Erebonia because that's really what we get to see in all of the uh, Trails series. Why don't we ever get to see Western Erebonia? Although I did hear that in Trails of Cold Steel 3 we'll finally get to go to Western Erebonia, so that should be pretty cool. Looking forward to that. Looks like a pretty swanky party. What's happening here? Who's this guy? I guess he's throwing the party here in the Lusitania. I would imagine. So what do you got to say? Uh, sure. The Conrad Company. Oh, why is that? Isn't the Conrad Company some sort of jewelry company? I kind of think it is. Wait, is that who I think it is? And who's this girl? Oh, uh, if you say so, I'll try to. Um, I don't exactly know who he is. Oh, he's a merchant of death! Huh. I wonder if he's part of the Ouroboros. Oh, now he's on the board of directors. Really? Oh, well, that's kind of, uh... Scary there. Yeah, I have no clue who this masked man is. This little butterfly mask, he's completely just unknown to me. I have no idea who this guy can possibly be. Although I must say, he does look rather uh, dapper in his little get-up there. Uh, don't work for the government, don't work for the press. Uh, yeah, it's rather nice, I must say. Oh, well, yeah. Also, in um, Trails of Cold Seal, we did get to see a little, like, scale model of the Lusitania back in the Ride from Company's lobby. Um, so, that was kind of neat. Yeah, this this game, it constantly, or the game, the whole series, they were constantly referencing uh, one another. You're daring escape? What do you have to escape from? Hmm, don't answer that. Oh. Is she coming on to me? Oh, wow. She's rather forward, I must say. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hey, are you... Are you married? Seriously, lady? Seriously? Wait, close your legs. Ew, what a whore. Gross. Good for you walking away from her. Oh. What exactly are you trying to do, masked man? Okay, so we need to somehow break into his private quarters, but first, let's go around and talk to everyone. 
By the way, if you use the regular D-pad just to move around, you'll walk at a snail's pace. If you use the, um, what is it, the little joypad stick or whatever on your controller, then you'll move around much, much faster. So definitely uh, take advantage of that. Oh, um, no, I'm not going to be drinking right now. Actually, I just got off of a cruise. This is like real life. I just got off a cruise, went to Mexico, um, and that's why I'm a little bit late in uploading, because not only was my cruise late, but I contracted norovirus, which is like the cruise ship flu, basically, and I've been like in bed asleep for the last two days. Uh, Summer Night 5 has been up and posting because I made a batch of those, like a pretty nice chunk of batch, uh, before I went uh, off on my vacation just to make sure that I had plenty uh, uploading while I was gone, with every intention of doing this whenever I got back, but then, you know, life strikes and the flu hits and it is what it is. But I should be fine now. The upload schedule is going to be a little bit off uh, on this game until I'm back up to 100%, but I am... I'm feeling much better than I did uh, yesterday, so I think that I can at least knock one out today, and hopefully I'll be able to get another one up tomorrow, if you're wondering about my upload schedule. Um, I wouldn't exactly count on it to be at the normal times, though. Probably sometime in the afternoon, but then again, I am West Coast time. for So for you East Coasters, sometime in the um, like late afternoon, I would imagine I would be uploading another episode. And then once I'm back up to my full uh, health, I will be uploading probably two or so episodes a day just to try to catch up to where I really wanted to be uh, with this series. So yeah, uh, before we move on, we're just talking to a bunch of NPCs. It looks like it's pretty much Erebonian nobility in here. They're just bitching about the Chancellor, you know, talking about how great they are, how hoity-toity this whole party is, um, all that kind of stuff. So kind of interesting. Yeah, the Rhineford Group. If you don't know who the Rhineford Group is, if you, for some reason, never played the Trails of Cold Steel games, that is um, a really powerful uh, orbital technology group, one of the um, biggest companies, basically, in the Trails universe. It essentially almost controls an entire province in, um, in Erebonia. It's that powerful. And they, and they go around, they make all sorts of different te technologies, like... Uh, tanks and uh, air airships and all sorts of other kind of orbital technologies and stuff like that. So that's pretty much who they are. And Conrad, he runs some sort of jewelry company or something along those lines, and he's partnered in with the um, with the Rhineford Group as well. So let's see. Uh, do you have anything else to say over here? Oh. Yeah, he's uh, too busy making money and hobnobbing with these uh, aristocrats. Oh. <laughs> wow, everybody's hitting on people around here. Man. Seems more like a hookup party, like a teenage party or something, rather than like a really uh, hoity-toity whoa, party. Who the hell was that? Was that a bug in the game or something? A glitch! Oh, no, it wasn't. It was actually supposed to be there. Huh. I wonder if somebody is watching him. What could that possibly be? Oh, I'm sure it's nothing. Completely forget about it, viewers. Yeah. Nothing. Hey there. Yeah, uh, here you go. Isn't the mask enough? Like, is everybody just wearing masks who don't have this, who are not in this party? And you just saw me leave the room. There's only one way in and one way out. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's pretty nice. And here we have some treasure! And also, if you check the treasure chests, they all have little, um, little uh, extra dialogue boxes with the treasure chests, so I really like that. By the way, that item, it restores 5,000 HP! Yeah, you start at level 90 in this game, so 5,000 HP... It's, it's it's about roughly 50% of what you start off with, so it's not like it's hugely overpowered or anything else like that. Um, and this is supposedly one of the harder games. I haven't had any difficulty with it yet. I've just kind of been fooling around with it while I'm lying in bed, convalescing, but, you know, I didn't get that far into it just yet. But enough. I got 
enough. <laughs> so let's just keep on going along through here through this little library and uh, over in here. All these upper rooms have some treasures in them, so make sure that you do uh, get those because those can be missed. Just keep that in mind. Ooh, that restores 100 EP, which is essentially your MP for this game. And right over here, um, on the wall, there's a photograph or a, a painting of the Gag Harv. So a lot of people kind of think that um, this game, as well as the Gag Harv trilogy and the Cold Steel games, like they all take place in the same world. And we know that the Trails in the Sky games and the Trails of Cold Steel games and Trails of Azure, Trails of Zero, all those, uh, even Trails in Ayuda, like we all know that those take place in the same world. The Gag Harv games, we don't know. Uh, as far as we know, there's there's just um, Elfilden, Welt Luna, and Tursawheel. We don't know if there's anything more, but then again, you know, the Gag Harv and the Backbone of the Serpent could have um, really isolated those worlds from the rest of the Trails worlds. So the painting could be a reference to the... I mean, it's obviously a reference to the Gag Harv games, but what I'm saying is it could be... Um, just kind of like a little nod to the Gag Harv games, or it could be a hint, a clue saying, yeah, they're actually all in the same world. We don't know that for sure. Me, personally, I think that it's just a nod to the Gag Harv games and, they, and that they don't take place in the same world, but who knows? We haven't gotten confirmation with Falcom either way, so it's just a nice little tidbit to ponder upon. Let me know what you guys think in the comments uh, as far as these Trails games being connected to the um, to the Gag Harv games. That would be a kind of interesting. And more treasure. We need to talk. Um. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't really want to talk to a treasure chest. That's okay with me. I think I'll pass. Oh well, go in there. You might as well. I mean. You know, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and all they're doing is checking the invitation. It's not like they have photo ID in this game or anything, so just go. Oh. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of different passages to go in, in the Lusitania, but the game ferries you along the one correct path. So don't worry about, like, getting lost or anything else like that, because you really can't. Um, it's very straightforward. Oh. Okay. What? Wait, what? Nothing that he said makes me think that he's blind. He was just saying that it was a new airship model and he liked the sound of the engine. Like, he wasn't saying that he couldn't see anything. And he was, like, looking at the window, too. Why would a blind person look at the window? I don't know. Eh, who knows. I would say maybe it's a translation error, but they do a really good job translating these games, so I don't think so. And those little doors over there, you can't go in them. They have, like, a little barrier thing in front of them. So you can only go out this very last door here on the uh, upper left-hand side. Oh, yeah, it's like a Romeo and Juliet story with those two. Huh, can we go out of here? Oh, no, we can't! Of course not. And what's this? A locked door, my greatest weakness! Is that, like, a horse? A little horse emblem or something on the floor? I don't know. Oh. Yeah, uh, I'm not leaving. That's okay. Whoa, w what does he have there? Yikes! How ironic! The men in black are getting neuralized by their own neuralizer from the movie series. If that's even the way it works. Or the masked man is neuralizing the men in black. That works, too. <laughs> okay, so we finally made it into Lord Conrad's room. What exactly is, uh, this masked man looking for, though? Oh. Um, it's a luxury airliner. What do you expect? Of course it's pointlessly fancy. So we have to go around now and press four various switches, and I'll show you exactly where all four of those switches are. There is a fifth switch, but you do not want to press the fifth switch. Completely and utterly ignore it. So, let's see. Going down here and then over to the carpet. We have uh, switch number three. There we are. No, it's not. Then we have this one. This is a switch that you do not want to press. 
No! If you press that switch, it will reset all the other switches, and then you're going to have to redo it all over again. You don't want to do that. So, yeah. Just hit the switches that I hit, and you'll be fine. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Which means that it couldn't possibly be a trap. No. Everything's on the, you know, up and out. Everything's A-OK. -okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, a password. You don't say. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe the first one? Oh, no. Uh, so maybe the second one? Hey, it worked! Wow, that was easy. Wouldn't you think that, like, if you hit the wrong password, that an alarm of some sort would go off or something? Like, what kind of security system is this? This guy sucks. For him, like, owning a jewelry store or something, like, my god. Like, get an alarm system, what the hell? Wow, he has a lot of really nice stuff in here. Like, Turkish rugs and treasures and gems and everything. Looks like the... The money vault on DuckTales. The fool's locket. Oh. That would actually come in really handy. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I guess he could, like, lie about his price. Whoa! Yikes! Oh, no! It is a trap! I never would have seen the trap coming! Oh, we're stuck. Well, what are we gonna do? This isn't good at all. Oh. Maybe that spray that killed, like, King jong Un's brother-in-law or something. <laughs> Did you guys hear about that? That was, like, the most ridiculous thing in the world. This woman thought that she was, like, on a reality show or something. She runs over, she sprays King jong -un, Un's brother-in-law or whoever in the face with this powder. It kills him instantaneously. It was, like, some assassins who tried to do it. He was, he was like, the North Koreans. You, you know, the North Korean leader, the crazy guy. Um, it was his brother-in-law, and they killed him. So then she got sent on trial in Malaysia or something. She had no clue what the hell she was doing, but the whole story... Like, it sounds like something out of a movie. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. But, hey, one less evil person in the world, I'm all about it. Uh, I don't think that you know who you're dealing with. Yeah, you kind of have me trapped in here, but, um... Yeah, I'm the masked man. I can take... I can take this out. Whoa! Hey! Yeah. Yeah, like, seriously. Whoa! What exactly is, uh, the Masked Man doing right here? Wow, how did that door not hit them? They were, like, right in the way. They were not moved away from that door at all. That door was huge! It should have knocked their asses down clean. What the hell? Oh, ha hey! And looky here, it's Father Kevin! Nice! Yeah, who didn't know that it was Father Kevin at, like, the get-go? Like, all he had was on the stupid masquerade mask. Like, that's really going to, uh, like, uh, make, make me not know? I mean, come on now. Yeah, I don't think that you're supposed to really charge people for confessions, Kevin. Like, wasn't that something that Martin Luther, um, went against in his, what was it, like, the 100? The 100 things that he nailed to the church wall? I don't exactly remember. So here the easiest way to take these guys out is just use Titanic Roar because it is an all-hitting art and it will just take these guys out in one shot. Otherwise, you'd have to hit them six times. Uh, it would take two regular physical attacks to knock them all down. Um, and it's just quicker just to use Titanic Roar, get them dead, and call it a day. As far as going over the finer points of the battle system, I'll do that later. When we have more party members and whenever it's more pertinent, for right now, you can just one-shot these guys, so um, I'm not too concerned about it right there. But yeah, level 90. Craziness. A Grail Knight? Yeah, we heard about that in the second chapter. We didn't really know a lot about it, though, but we knew that he was no ordinary priest. Oh. Oh, well, that's nice, yeah. At least he didn't, you know, sentence them to death or anything. Okay. Nice little, um, artifact, too. Oh, yeah, the ladies are, like, just throwing themselves at Father Kevin over here. But can we escape from the Lusitania? Find out next time. Let's play The Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky, the third. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.